Hi everyone. So in this video, we are going to learn how to configure our WLAN. It's a wireless LAN. So I'll just make a small WLAN. You guys, as you can see, we can take one server. We can have one access point. This access point is allowing us to connect some endpoint devices. Okay, so let's start in the Cisco Packet Tracer. Okay, so this is my Cisco Packet Tracer workspace. So we need one server machine, we need um, some end devices and access point. So let's go here and select. Uh, okay, so we'll go here and look for the access point. This is the access point I'm going to take. And then also I'll take one uh, server machine. And then I will take one PC. And also let us take one, um, that's a tablet. So this is done. Now you can see that the moment you keep it here, this device here, and you see that this is uh, symbol is visible here. It's a kind of it's going to establish a connection here with the access point. The reason being, it's not showing in the PC because PC does not have that uh, kind of uh, that interface, the wireless interface that that is not enabled here. With this uh, smartphone or so the tablet PC, this is already enabled with the device. So uh, this port is already there and it can have the capability to connect with the uh, wireless you know kind of access points okay so what we want we want to uh, uh, kind of make a, a small WLAN so that the connection can be established in this network we want that this this server is going to have a set of IPs means a pool of IPs which will be assigned automatically for this either you can go with the static IPs, you can go manually assigning the IPs or you can uh, make a configuration so that the IPs can be assigned dynamically so if you go here and if you look to the uh, to the IP you will find that if you go for the DSCP you can find that nothing has been assigned here similarly nothing has been assigned here also so we'll go and first configure our PC okay so what configuration is required we need to first uh, put the uh, this uh, wireless interface card to it so that it can able to have a wireless connection so we'll go here and it says that it does not have wireless interface and it is not possible to, to connect in this wireless environment so we need to put a wireless interface here so we'll go to physical and uh, this is our PC physical PC how it looks like so we already discussed that whenever you want to add any card or any component onto the device we need to first switch it off we switch it off and then we go to the slot where we can add this wireless module so this is the slot we, we need to add this WMP300N we'll remove this make the slot empty and put this module in this slot and going back to switch it on okay this is done now you can see that it is able to uh, you know make a connection now wireless port is already enabled here if you go to the desktop if you go to the ip config now you can see this is a kind of a pipa it's a kind of ap api IP, it's automatic ip has been assigned it's already uh, assigned one dynamic ip which is from the block 169.254 even if you see here we can also find that one ip is given to this which is also from the 169.254 if you are using the dscp but what we want in our case we want that the ip must be assigned from a defined pool and so we were going to configure the server and server we will assign some uh, some some pool of ips and we want that these all the devices which are coming in this network will be assigned the ip from that pool okay for this we need to go to the server first and we will do some configuration first we will uh, okay we'll assign the ip to it let's say we'll give 192.168.0.1 is the ip which I have given to this particular server machine and uh, subnet must be this default gateway will be the same dns will be same okay fine this is done after that we need to go to services and then we are looking for dscp we'll switch on this service on 
and then we will do some more setting here so default gateway is 192.168.01 okay this will remain same here and uh, the starting ip for this particular network is 168.0.0 and dot one we have given as a gateway ip and how many users we want so it says by default we have showing 255 users can be means means we are having at this many of ip 255 okay let us make 50 that means now we have a set of ips from 182.168.0.0.59 so this is the pool that we have given to the server and we want that all the machines which become the part of this network must be assigned from this pool okay then we have to uh, i think we should uh, just click on the save and you can see all the things have now visible here okay so this is the starting ip address 192.168.0.0 so i think we are done with this we'll go back and now we need to also establish a connection between this access point and the server okay just a minute okay this is done now let us have a look here what is the status here so if you look here ip configuration it is not yet done it is not assigning from here let us check what is the mistake here physical we have done with this mm -hmm. let me check what is the gateway we have assigned okay see dscp request successful so uh, earlier when we were checking it was like configuring it it may take some time so now it is done and you have seen that the ip which is assigned is 192.168 from that pool which we have given to the server this is uh, 0.3 and 0.1 is a default gateway similarly we can check here the ip which has been assigned here so this is dscp assigned 192.168.0.2 and this is the gateway so we have established our WLAN environment and these IPs have been assigned by the server. And if you want to see the connection, we can just uh, do the very basic thing that is we write a ping command. So let us quickly check this is having 03. So from here, we will just ping 03 and see what is happening. So write ping 192.168.0.0. And we are able to connect. Similarly, if you want to uh, check that uh, in either way we are going to connect or not, means if you want to write a ping command and want to connect here, you can find that it will be working. So, this is all. So, in this video, we have seen that how to create a simple uh, WLAN environment. Thank you very much.